Hey guys, what's up? In the last video I promised a follow up with the effects of the cards to make it easier to understand the deck and to provide you with a little insight into how these cards interact. The first card is Dark Magician. This is a level 7 Dark Spellcaster with 2500 attack and 2100 defense. It is a normal card and is the main monster used by Yugi Moto in the anime. The next card is Magician's Robe. This is a Dark Spellcaster level 2 with 700 attack and 2000 defense, and its effect is, during your opponent's turn, you can discard one spell or trap card, special summon one Dark Magician from your deck. This is a quick effect. During your opponent's turn, if you activate a spell or trap card or effect while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use each effect of Magician's Robe once per turn. This acts like a searcher for Dark Magician and can be used as a tribute if necessary. The next card is Apprentice Illusion Magician. This is a Dark Level 6 Spellcaster with 2000 attack and 1700 defense. And its effect is 1. You can special summon this card from your hand by discarding one card. 2. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one Dark Magician from your deck to your hand. 3. During damage calculation, during either player's turn, when another Dark Spellcaster type monster you control battles an opponent's monster, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. That monster you control gains 2000 attack and defense during that damage calculation. Basically, it can be used to protect your Dark Magician for that particular attack if your opponent manages to bring out a stronger monster. Next card is Magician's Rod. This is a Dark Spellcaster level 3 with 1600 attack and 100 defense. And its effect is, when this card is normal summoned, you can add one spell or trap card from your deck to your hand that specifically lists the card Dark Magician in its text. During your opponent's turn, if you activate a spell or trap card or effect while this card is in your graveyard, except during the damage step, you can tribute one spellcaster monster add this card to your hand. You can only use each effect of Magician's Rod once per turn. This is basically a searcher for your spells and traps, and since it can be recycled, its effect can be used more than one. The next card is Skilled Dark Magician. This is a Dark Spellcaster level 4 with 1900 attack and 1700 defense, and its effect is, each time a spell card is activated, place one spell counter on this card, when that spell card resolves, a maximum of three. You can tribute this card with three spell counters on it. Special summon one Dark Magician from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Since you will be using a lot of spell cards in your deck, you can bring out your Dark Magician very quickly. Though in the last year or so, this card has become less useful, as others enable the same effect to bring out a Dark Magician, with a lesser cost attached to them, also, since this is a very old card, it is uh, quite outdated. There are ways of using it, but I would substitute for pretty much just look at the Dark Illusion set that specifically supported the Dark Magicians as well as other archetypes. That will give you more than enough um, cards that do this be better than this. The next card is Legendary Knight Tamias. This is a Light Warrior level 8 with 2800 attack and 1800 defect, uh, defense, and its effect is, cannot be normal summoned or set, must be special summoned with Legend of Heart, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. When this card is special su is summoned, you can target one face-up spell or trap card on the field, banish that target. When this card is targeted for an attack, you can target one spell card in your graveyard, set that target. The Banish effect is useful if you are facing certain decks, however it can sometimes be quite pointless. And the problem with its second effect is that it relies on it to be chosen as an attack target. This means you may recover the spell card, but you will have no chance in using it to pre protect this card. The next card is Legendary Knight Critias. This is a Light Warrior level 8 with 2800 attack and 1800 defense and its effect is, cannot be normal summoned or set, must be special summoned with Legend of Heart, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. When this card is special summoned, 
you can target one face-up spell or trap card on the field, banish that target. When this card is targeted for an attack, you can target one trap card in your graveyard, set that target. That set card can be activated during this turn. The same banish effect as the first, but it recovers trap cards that can be used in response, so this can be protected, and if your opponent is unaware of this card, then they will literally be walking into a trap. Next card is Legendary Knight Hermos. It is a light warrior level 8 with 2800 attack and 1800 defense, and its effect is cannot be normal summoned or set, must be special summoned with Legend of Heart, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. When this card is special summoned, you can target one face-up spell or trap card on the field, banish that target once per turn. When this card is targeted for an attack, you can target one effect monster in your graveyard until the end phase of your next turn. This card's name becomes that target and replace this effect with that target's original effects. This can be useful as this card can gain an effect such as a protection effect from a monster you all have already used, making it one of the better cards to be used uh, during a longer duel. The next card is Breaker the Magical Warrior. This is a dark spellcaster level 4 with 1600 attack and 1000 defense, and its effect is, if this card is normal summoned, place one spell counter on it, maximum 1, this card gains 300 attack for each spell counter on it. You can remove one spell counter from this card, then target one spell or trap card on the field. Destroy that target. This card's stats uh, starts off with 1,900 attack, and if you feel threatened by a back row card, you can remove the counter to destroy that card. In essence, you are only trading 300 attack points from this card to remove what could be a key card from your opponent. The next card is Magical Exemplar. This is an Earth Spellcaster level 4 with 1,700 attack and 1,400 defense. And its effect is, each time a spell card is activated, place two spell counters on this card when that spell card resolves. Once per turn, you can remove any number of spell counters from this card, special summon one spellcaster type monster, from your hand or graveyard whose level is equal to the number of spell counter counters you removed. This can be useful to get out certain spellcasters outside of Dark Magician as it has enough support already and provides two, sp two counters for each spell activated, making it easier, uh, easy enough to summon higher level monsters. The next card is Big Shield Gardener. This is an Earth Warrior level 4 with 100 attack and 2600 defense. And its effect is, during either player's turn, when this face down card and no other cards is targeted by a spell card, change this card to face up defense position, and if you do, negate the spell card's effect. Uh, if this card is attacked, change it to attack position at the end of the damage step. This card is good for initial protection, but since it changes its mode, your opponent will abuse this to cause as much damage as possible. Next card is Dark Magician Girl. This is a dark spellcaster level 6 with 2000 attack and 1700 defense. And its effect is, this card gains 300 attack for every Dark Magician or Magician of Black Chaos in either player's graveyard. The chances are you will be the only one running Dark Magicians outside of a mirror match and potentially you can have this card go up to 2,900 attack if used properly. The next card is Absolute Crusader. This is an Earth Warrior level 4 with 1,800 attack and 1,200 defense, and its effect is, when a level 5 or higher monster is special summoned, tribute this face-up card on the field, destroy that level 5 or higher monster. Though people still special summon higher monsters, this effect can only be used once, and so it could be baited out to use against potentially one of their weaker higher level monsters. Next card is Dark Magician Magic Curson. This is a normal spell card that says, pay half your life points, special summon one and Dark Magician from your deck. You cannot summon other monsters the turn you activate this card, but you can still set. Uh, there are better options to bring out a Dark Magician, 
um, should only be you. It should only be used if your life points are lower than a thousand, and you are desperate to bring out a dark magician. Then, in that case, you may be able to use this card. The next card is Illusion Magic. This is a quick play spell card that says tribute one spellcaster monster. Add up to two copies of Dark Magician from your deck and or graveyard to your hand. You can only activate one Illusion Magic once per turn. This is good in response to if your opponent would get rid of one of your spellcasters. You can force them to have wasted their card as well as conduct your own search. This card is Dark Magic Expanded. This is a quick play spell card that says apply these effects in sequence based on the number of Dark Magician and or Dark Magician Girl on the field and in the graveyards. One plus one Dark Spellcaster monster on the field gains 1000 attack until the end of this turn. Two plus this turn your opponent cannot activate cards and effects in response to your spell and trap card or effect negation activation. Also spell and trap cards you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. And three and plus Dark Spellcaster monsters you currently control are unaffected by your opponent's card effects until the end of this turn. This is versatile as it protects your cards and can increase their attack to enough to deal with moderate to high effects. Next card is Thousand Knives. This is a normal spell card that says if you control Dark Magician, target one monster your opponent controls, destroy that target. This is useful as it can remove any of your opponent's monsters even those that may be lower, that can be more threatening, or have an annoying floating effect. Next card is Dark Magic Attack. This is a normal spell card that says, if you control Dark Magician, destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls. This removes your opponent's back row, so you can use this to push for game, or to at least see what your opponent is running. The next card is the Eye of Tamias. This is a normal spell card that says this card is always treated as Legendary Dragon to Mice. Target one Dark Magician monster you control. Fusion summon one Fusion monster from your extra deck that lists that monster on the field as a Fusion material. So using it as the Fusion material, you can only activate one the Eye of Tamias per turn. This is necessary to bring out any of the Fusion monsters that list Dark Magician and can be very powerful if used correctly. The next card is the Fang of Critias. This is a normal spell card that says this card is always also always treated as Legendary Dragon Critias. Send one trap card from your hand or field to the graveyard that is listed on a fusion monster that can only be special summoned with the Fang of Critias. If that card is set, reveal it. Then special summon that fusion monster from your etch deck. You can only activate one the Fang of Critias per turn. This is good, as the fusions take on the effects of the trap card, including Mirror Force and the even better uh, Crush Card Virus, which removes monsters with 1500 or higher attack. Next card is the Claw of Hermos. This card is also always treated as Legendary Dragon Hermos. It says, send one monster from your hand or field to the graveyard of the type that is listed on a fusion monster that can only be special summoned with the Claw of Hermos. If this card, that card is set, reveal it, then special summon that fusion monster from your extra deck. You can only activate one the Claw of Hermos per turn. This is quite a good card in that it's quite versatile. It just is just uh, type dependent, which isn't too difficult to achieve. You might be running multiple of various different types in order to um, uh, go into as many of these different fusion monsters that I will be mentioning later. The next card is Legend of Heart. This is a normal spell card that says pay 2000 life points and tribute one warrior type monster. Banish up to three legendary dragon spell cards with different names from your hand and or graveyard and if you do special summon that many legendary knight monsters with different names from your hand deck and or graveyard. You can only activate one Legend of Heart per turn. This is useful if you want the three knights at once or to bring out their fusion, which for some reason does not seem to appear in this deck. The next card is Swords of Revealing Light. This is a normal spell card that says flip all monsters your opponent controls face up. This card remains on the field for three of your opponent's turns. While this card is face up on the field, 
Monsters your opponent controls cannot declare an attack. This is useful for protecting yourself for a couple of turns. However, your opponent will either draw into a removal card or exceeds summon Tornado Dragon to remove this quickly. Next card is Pot of Duality. This is a normal spell card that says excavate the top three cards of your deck, add one of them to your hand. Also, after that, shuffle the rest back into your deck. You can only activate one Pot of Duality per turn. You cannot special summon during the turn you activate this card. This is good for searching through for a specific card depending on your situation. The next card is Reinforcement of the Army, or as some people like to uh, nickname it, Rota. Uh, if you hear this, that, that's what this card means. This is a normal spell card that says add one level 4 or lower warrior type monster from your deck to your hand. This is a decent search card if you need a specific warrior. The next card is Dark Magic Circle. This is a continuous spell card that says when this card is activated, look at the top three cards of your deck. Then you can reveal one Dark Magician or one spell or trap card that specifically lists the card Dark Magician in its text among them and add it to your hand. Also place the remaining cards on top of your deck in any order. If Dark Magician is normal or special summoned to your field, except during the damage step, you can target one card your opponent controls, banish it, you can only use each effect of Dark Magical Circle once per turn. This enables a search and banishes your opponent's cards, making them uh, more difficult to bring. Next card is Magician's Navigation. This is a normal trap card that says special summon one Dark Magician from your hand, then special summon one level 7 or lower Dark Spellcaster monster from your deck. If you control a Dark Magician, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Then target one face-up spell or trap card your opponent controls. It has its effects negated until the end of this turn. This enables you to special summon two Dark Magicians and can negate a back row card when necessary. Next card is Eternal Soul. This is a continuous trap card that says every Dark Magician in your monster zone is unaffected by your opponent's card effects. If this face-up card leaves the field, destroy all monsters you control. You can only use the following effect of Eternal Soul once per turn. You can activate one of these effects. A uh, special summon one Dark Magician from your hand or graveyard, or add one Dark Magic Attack or Thousand Knives from your deck to your hand. This protects your Dark Magician, recovers them, and searches for a card that either destroys back row or destroys monsters. The next card is Dark Renewal. This is a normal trap card that says when your opponent normal or special summons a monster or monsters, target one of those monsters and one spellcaster type monster you control. Send them both, uh, both monsters to the graveyard, then you can special summon one dark spellcaster type monster from your deck or graveyard. This helps to remove an opponent's uh, monster and brings out a spellcaster that you want. This card is Crush Card Virus. This is a normal trap card that says tribute one dark monster with 1000 or less attack. Your opponent takes no damage until the end of the next turn after this card resolves. Also, you look at your opponent's hand and all monsters they control, and if you do, destroy the monsters among them with 1,500 or more attack. Then your opponent can destroy up to three monsters with 1,500 or more attack in their deck. This is one of the cards needed for the fusion, and can remove your opponent's monsters from the hand and the field that um, have 1,500 or more attack. This card is Mirror Force. This is a normal trap card that says... When an opponent's monster declares an attack, destroy all your opponent's attack position monsters. This is yes less useful as monsters have protection effects nowadays. The next card is Tyrant Wing. This is a normal trap card that says target one dragon type monster on the field, equip this card to it. It gains 400 attack and defense. Also it can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. Once per turn and during the end phase, if the monster equipped with this card by this effect attacked an opponent's monster this turn, destroy this card. 
This is too good to remove more than one monster if your opponent has a stacked field. The next card is Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. This is a Dark Dragon Fusion, level 8, with 3000 attack and 2500 defense. And it requires a Dark Magician and a Dragon Monster. Its effect is this card's name becomes Dark Magician while on the field or in the graveyard. Your opponent cannot target spell or trap cards you control with card effects. Also, they cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. This is good for protecting your spell and trap cards, um, such as Eternal Soul. And remember, since this is considered a Dark magi Magician in the graveyard, this could be special summoned um, from Eternal Soul, provided you have already successfully summoned it once. The next card is Dark Paladin. This is a Dark Spellcaster level 8 with 2,900 attack and 2,400 defense. And it requires a Dark Magician and a Buster Blader. And its effect is must be fusion summoned and cannot be special summoned by other ways. During either player's turn, when a spell card is activated, you can discard one card, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. This card must be face up on the field to activate and to resolve this effect. This card gains 500 attack for each dragon type monster on the field or in either player's graveyard. This can work against dragon decks as well as stop your opponent from activating their spell cards, which they may be very reliant on. This card is Amulet Dragon. This is a Dark Dragon Fusion level 8 with 2,900 attack and 2,500 defense. And it requires a Dark Magician and a Dragon Monster. Its effect is must be fusion summoned and cannot be special summoned by other ways. During either player's turn, when the spell card is activated, you can discard one card, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. This card must be face up on the field to activate and to resolve this effect. This card gains... Uh, Note to self, I need to change this um, this bit on the voiceover. The next card is Amulet Dragon. This is a um, the next card is Amulet Dragon. This is a Dark Dragon Infusion, level eight, with two thousand nine hundred attack and two thousand five hundred defense, and it requires a Dark Magician and a Dragon Monster. Its effect is must be fusion summoned with the above fusion materials or with the eye of Tamias and cannot be special summoned by other ways. If this card is special summoned, target any number of spell cards in any graveyards, minimum one, banish those targets and if you do, this card gains 100 attack for each card banished by this effect. If this card is destroyed, you can target one spellcaster type monster in your graveyard, special summon that target. This is a very decent effect, considering that um, it can get rid of your opponent's spell cards, so this means that they cannot be recovered. Also, the the little increase in um, attack stat might not seem that significant, but if your opponent is running a very spell-centric deck, then this can build up quite quickly. Also, being able to replace itself with a uh, spellcaster means that at least you'll have um, the same amount of field present. The next card is Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. This is a Dark Dragon Fusion level 7 with 2600 attack and 1700 defense. And it requires Dark Magician Girl and a Dragon Monster. Its effect is must be fusion summoned with the above fusion materials or with the Eye of Tamias and cannot be special summoned by other ways. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard, then target one face-up card on the field to destroy that target. This helps to remove cards before your opponent has the opportunity to use them. The next card is Tyrant Burst Dragon. This is a Light Dragon Fusion level 8 with 2,900 attack and 2,500 defense, and its effect is must be special summoned with the Fang of Critias, using a Tyrant Wing, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. This card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. 
you can target one face-up monster you control. Equip this monster to that target. It gains 400 attack and defense. Also, it can make three attacks during each battle phase. This card can attack all of your opponent's monsters and provides a, a stronger monster the opportunity to do the same. Next card is Mirror Force Dragon. This is a light dragon fusion level 8 with 2800 attack and 1200 defense. And its effect is must be special summoned with the Fang of Critias using a Mirror Force and cannot be special summoned by other ways. When a monster or monsters you control are targeted for an attack or by an opponent's card effect, except during the damage step, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls. This is like an improved Mirror Force, as it wipes out all their cards, not just their specific monsters. The next card is Doom Virus Dragon. This is a Dark Dragon Fusion level 4 with 1900 attack and 1500 defense. And its effect is, must be special summoned with the Fang of Critias, using a Crush Card Virus, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. If this card is special summoned, check your opponent's hand, all monsters they control, and all cards they draw until the end of their third turn, after this effect's activation. And destroy all those monsters with 1500 or more attack. This card retains the original effect of Crush Card Virus, uh, the better effect, most people would argue, before its errata. So may be quite valuable. It is a hidden gem, and for those who aren't aware of what it does, it can be the blight to many decks. The next card is Rocket Hermos Cannon. This is a light warrior fusion level 4 with 1500 attack and 1300 defense, and its effect is must be special summoned with the Claw of Hermos using a warrior type monster, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. If this card is special summoned, target one other face-up monster on the field, equip this card to it. It can make a second attack during each battle phase. Also, if it attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent. This is useful as it can enable a monster in to inflict piercing damage and attack. The next card is Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword. This is a Dark Dragon Fusion level 7 with 2400 attack and 2000 defense. And its effect is must be special summoned with the Claw of Hermos using a dragon type monster and cannot be special summoned by other ways. If this card is special summoned, target one other face up monster on the field, equip this card to it, it gains 1000 attack and 500 attack and defense for each dragon type monster on the field and in the graveyards. This gives a monster an initial boost, and if paired in a dragon deck against a rival dragon deck, can become very powerful very quickly. The next card is Goddess Bow. This is a light warrior fusion, level 4, with 1500 attack and 1600 defense, and its effect is must be special summoned with the Claw of Hermos using a warrior type monster, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. If this card is special summoned, target one other face-up monster on the field, equip this card to it. While this card is equipped to a monster by this effect, negate the first effect activated by your opponent during each battle phase. Also, after that, the equipped monster can make a second attack during this battle phase. The effect can be situational at best, and so is probably the least useful out of them. Next card is Time Magic Hammer. This is a light spellcaster level 2 with 500 attack and 400 defense, and its effect is must be special summoned with the Claw of Hermos using a spellcaster type monster, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. If this card is special summoned, target one other face up monster on the field, equip this card to it. At the start of the damage step, if it battles an opponent's monster, you can roll a six-sided die and banish that opponent's monster until the standby phase of the nth turn after this effect's activation. N equals the result. This can be used to remove a threat from the field for an undisclosed, undisclosed number of turns, anywhere between 1 and 6, and can be used multiple times. Okay guys, I think that this video has gone on long enough. I will make two additional videos with the effects covering the remainder of the cards introduced within the dragon, legendary dragon decks. Which out of these cards 
is your favourite and which don't you like? Uh, which, which would you want to replace and what would you want to replace it with? Leave your comments down below, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and as always, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Oh, something's in